Okay, as always, I'm starting two minutes before the video conference starts uh, to give the students some time to join the session for today. Today is the final day for week number three, I think. Okay, uh, we are on week number three. And today we are going to have a review. Okay, a review about the topics that we have been starting in week number three, as they are a lot. But I have prepared um, a lesson for them, right? Okay, I'm going to wait for the students to join in. It's almost time. I also have a video prepared for them, but they are going to watch it in their WhatsApp because it's a video. Uh, how do I tell you? Because of copyrights. It's on YouTube and I can show it. All right, let's wait for the students to join in. It, right now it's eight o'clock, okay? I am just opening some documents that I need for my class. I hope students are here soon. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, Mr. Ayala. Welcome. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Good. It's Friday. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. It's, it's the best day of the week, right? <laughs> yes. You have vacations tomorrow, and Sunday, and Saturday, and Sunday. You don't work. I don't work. Ah, you don't work. Well, for my, well, uh, for your information, I work on on Saturday and Sunday. Yes. I sell oh, I sell okay. Mexican sandwiches. <laughs> Tortas mexicanas. <laughs> Tortas mexicanas. Yeah. Tacos. Mexic Mexican sandwiches. That's how you say tortas mexicanas in English. I sell them just outside my just outside my class. Uh, my class, my, my house. Right? <laughs> yeah. People like them. I think I'm good at preparing the, the, <laughs> the Mexican sandwiches. Uh, welcome, Ophelia. How are you, Ophelia? Okay. Hello, teacher. Okay, Mr. Let's wait uh, for the other students. We are going to start soon. 
Thank you for being punctual. You are always really punctual. That's excellent. A good quality for a professional. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was opening some documents I need for today's lesson. And also we are going to watch a video today. Are you familiar with the sitcom Friends? Nelson, welcome, mister. How are you feeling? Darwin is really happy because tomorrow is Saturday and Sunday. Okay, I have a good day because it, 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 today uh, I, I, I have free in the world. You have what? Free. Free in the world. Free. Uh -huh. free. Ah, you had a day off. Yes, I had it in the in my house. I I buy a supermarket order for my my wife. Yeah. Uh, and did you practice your English? Uh, only in, in in the morning, the six a.m. Uh, seven a.m. Uh, what did you do? Um, and only checked. Uh, the 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 answers to the platform ah that's that good mister very nice and remember that today is the last opportunity for you to do your your tasks in the platform Mayra what happened to your life hi good evening good evening Mayra I can hardly see you miss what happened to your life I don't know but it's, really it's very dark <laughs> yes, yeah, it's really dark in there. Oh, now I can see you better. Yes, I don't know what happened. But I check. Okay. Maria Stella is joining. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Maria. How are you, Miss? Fine, thank you, teacher. Good. That's really good. Have you been working in the platform, Miss? Huh? Did you do the task? The task in the platform. Okay, very nice people. We are going to start, okay? I'm going to take the first attendance, so please pay attention. Permítame un segundito, tengo problemas con el documento de las asistencias que no me quiere abrir. Okay, so open up. Okay, it's loading at least. I hope it will open soon. Okay, Darwin. Present. Delmis. Delmis. No, not here yet. Doing. 
Fátima Rosario Cibrián, Fidel, Flor de María, Irving José, Josué Adán, Juan Ernesto Escobar Perisari, Um, Karina Karina Beatriz Santos Carla Verónica Vázquez Present Ok, thank you um, María Estela Present María Vanessa Mayra Present Nelson Alfredo Maya Nelson Edgardo. Present. Ophelia. Here, teacher. Raquel. All right. Eh, Tatiana Enguay. Okay, students. Welcome to another video conference. Eh, Today, we are going to be talking about the, let me see, where is the PPP? Okay, here I have it. Okay. Today, we are going to talk about, permítanme. Okay. Today, as you can see, can you see it? Yes. Yes. All right. We are going to talk about what projects are you planning to do this month? All right. And also we are going to talk about temporary situations. Let's start by discussing these questions. All right. The first one. Hey, can someone read it, please? Can someone read the first question, please? Okay, me. Mm -hmm. What are temporary activities you are doing at your workplace this day? Okay, that is a mistake, sorry. Give me a second. What are some activities, some, what, wait, 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 it's not this one. What are, what temporary activities are you doing and you're working like that? Sorry about that. Okay. okay. There we go. Uh -huh. what temp okay. What temporary activities you are doing at your workplace this day? Come on. Okay. Let's see the second question before I, I answer the question, okay? What about the second one? Miss, Miss, Miss Santos, continue, please. Okay, what about your co-workers? All right, let me answer that question, okay? Because this is how I want a similar answer, okay? This is an example. All right, I have some really good projects for this month. First, I'm taking some Portuguese classes to add one more language to my list. I'm also running a small restaurant with my brother-in-law. I think we are, we are opening that restaurant on the, the next week. Okay, we are going to sell tacos and burritos. <laughs> okay, now I will give you 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds to think about some projects that you might have for this month, okay? Some projects, okay? Piensen ahí en alguno y ya me los van a responder. 
¿Verdad? Pueden tomar como ejemplo el que yo tengo acá. ¿Ok? ¿Verdad? Eh, a mí me gusta decir más, más de hablar más de únicamente solo lo que se me pregunta. Así que yo les recomiendo that if you want to practice more your English, try to give extra information. Eh, it doesn't matter, ¿ok? If you speak more, ¿ok? That is the objective, that you practice more. All right? So please think about the answer for this question. What temporary activities you are you doing at your workplace? Okay, permitamos, no, hay otro error en esta cuestión. Permitan, quiero ver si es del libro o yo lo puse así. No, es del, es del libro. Es así como no lo copié y lo pegué. Pues para que no digan que soy yo el que lo copié. Ok, permítanme un segundito. Okay. Esto me queda de lección, jóvenes, para volver a hacer un double check. Ok, ahora sí. What temporary activities are you doing? Good night. Good night. Welcome. Ok, people, eh, try to, to think about the possible answer that you are going to give me, all right? You can take my, my example for, for your answer, okay? But don't do that, okay? Try to think about some, some more things, okay? Welcome to the ones that are joining. Welcome. All right, let's ask some people. Let's start with. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mister. Let's start with Miss Santos. Miss Santos, can you help me? Tell me about what temporary activities are you doing at your workplace these days? Okay, uh, I think I have um, to do some projects in, for this month. And I think in temporary activity, I, I, I think that's all projects, that's all. But for my work, I'm sorry. Can you be more specific about these projects? Like, what are uh, they? Okay, I have one project. I uh, I one I have to do optimize 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 the cleaning in place is a machine, mm -hmm. and I have to do this project in four months. Uh, it's about I reduce the time for the cleaning using this machine. Okay. That very good. Is is uh -huh. a automat automatizado? Mm. Automatic. Automatic system for cleaning. All right. In equipment. Okay. And I have other and I have other project and I have to reduce the overtime in in the line in one of the line in the product line in the my com in the company okay thank you very much miss santos let's okay. ask someone else okay what about you miss vasquez what are some projects that you have for this month uh, i planning take a uh, some class uh, cook cook Cooking? cooking classes. Uh, uh, cooking classes for me, cooking is a hobby. I love it. And I think it's a very good option. Uh -huh. and, and, and can I ask, what are you focusing on in a specific? For example, are you talking about bakery or Mexican food? Or... Uh, yes. Um, I think at Panini's 
food. Ah, so how do you? No, is that gourmet food? No. It's no, it's a it's a sandwich. Ah, okay. It's a different I mean, sandwich. The name the name sounds like gourmet. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Miss Vasquez. What about you, Flor? What are some of the temporary activities you are doing at your workplace these days? Hi, teacher. Yo sí estoy un poquito perdida. Realmente, si me puede explicar en qué consiste, porque entré un poquito tarde. Ah, ok. Ok, don't worry, Miss. Ok, we are talking about temporary activities that you are doing at your workplace. Yo les, yo les dije a, a, bueno, a un estudiante ¿verdad? que me hiciera estas preguntas y de esta forma, ¿verdad? La que acabo de mostrar ahorita es como yo la respondía. Ok, o sea, de más o menos así me tenían que responder ustedes. De acuerdo a los proyectos que tienen ustedes en su trabajo. ¿verdad? Ok, eh, proyectos temporarios, ¿verdad? o actividades temporales. Vale, ok. Ahí, así que ahí piénsele ahí un poquito a ver qué proyecto tiene planeado para, esta, para este mes, por favor. Ok, eh, no, Ok, let's go with... Eh, Mayra, Mayra, what are temporary activities are you doing at your workplace these days? I have to finish uh, some projects uh, next week. And the next week, I have vacation for Holy Week. In oh. this week, I am going to go to the beach with my family. Ah, okay. That's very nice. Take care, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> be, be careful. Okay, thank you very much, Mayra. Okay, what about your work? Ok, vale, les voy a dar una respuesta con respecto a esa, a esa sentence y más o menos sí tienen que responder. ¿verdad? Piensen en el nombre de un, de un coworker que se les venga a la mente. Ok, now, for example, in my case, I'm going to talk about eh, eh, Cristina. Ok, Cristina is a coworker and she has to go to another country. She's going to the United States. And she's going to the United States because she's going to, to give a lecture, okay? It's like a conference, okay? She's going to be talking about uh, English approaches, okay? For teaching as a foreign language, all right? She's going to the United States. I think it's going to take it like one or two weeks. And she's meeting with some people from the University of Idaho. And I don't remember the other one, but there are two, two universities where she's going. Okay, this is this is fiction, right? It's not like I have a <laughs> cover that's going to, to the United States, but you are going to do it like this. Si no se les ocurre nada, verdad, traten de inventar algo, okay? Algo sobre su homework. Ok, veo que alguien levantó la mano, creo. Eh, ¿Tenía alguna pregunta, Ophelia? Creo que Ophelia. Sí. Ah, Ophelia. Do you have any question? O oh, estaba probando ahí el botoncito. ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Think about a, temp, a project that one of your co-workers have, okay? Think about it.
Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> what they doing? What are they doing? Sorry, mister. Hello, mister. I didn't hear your question. Okay. Let's see about the second question. All right. Let's ask Mr. Ayala. Mr. Ayala, what about your co-workers, Mr.? What projects do they have or are they planning to do this month or these days? Uh, she activity, my co-worker, Maria, is checking the inventory of mm -hmm. the, the store mm -hmm. because because a new new material and second activity for the month is visit the visit the oh excuse me and create a new product Mm -hmm. create new product and send it email for the okay. rest of okay thank you very much mr ayala let's go with another participation from vanessa segura are you there miss yes teacher okay I'm vanessa here. tell me about the projects that some of your co-workers are planning to do this in this month Okay, um, Karina is my co-worker and she works in quality insurance mm -hmm. and she's in charge of quality manager system mm -hmm. and this month she needs to finish the cleaning validation procedures of production lines. Okay, very nice. That's really, that sounds like really interesting. Thank you very much, Vanessa. Okay, let's continue, people. Now, remember that today we are going to talk about some uh, projects that you have, okay? Some short term, okay? Short term, verdad? Son eh, como a corto plazo, verdad? Son como eh, objetivos o metas, vea, o proyectos a largo, a, perdón, a corto plazo. Se lo voy a escribir en el chat. Short term, así se escribe, mire. Short term y si son verdad objetivos a largo plazo, verdad? O, o sea, sería long term, verdad? Long term objectives or long term eh, projects. Ok. Ahí va para que lo sepan. Por si quieren utilizarlo en su. In your answers. Ok. Now let's go as usual with a conversation practice, right? In this case, I will need the help of. Let's see. Um, okay, of Mr. Sanchez and Annabel, are you there? Yes. Okay. Now, please, uh, well, uh, Mr. Sanchez, Ever, and Annabel, you are Beth. Okay. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time now, see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing this day? I am okay. Well, I am working on the new project and also I am stocking in English course today. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I, I know uh, a college could complete the course in taking a training in English this day. 
You are right. Hello, Anabel. Hello. You have to continue. Okay. Uh, I know. Uh, a colleague. No, you are right. Bet. You are right. You are right. I'm studying on my own, you know. I am ready. I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. The help a lot. Okay, excellent people. Okay, right now, people, as you can see, this conversation is like a normal conversation that you would have with your with your classmates. Okay, because as you as you know, you are taking uh, this course. Okay, English for for work, right? Okay, now I want to. I want you to practice this conversation, but you are not going to read any of this, okay? You are going to be talking about your own progress, okay? And about the things that you do and how you feel in classes and your short-term goals, okay? And proyectos a corto plazo and your long-term goals, okay? Proyectos a largo plazo, vea. Referente vea, a esto que están haciendo ahorita. O sea, o sea, yo creo que ustedes se han mentalizado porque están aprendiendo inglés, ¿verdad? Tal vez para optar por una, una mejor posición o tal vez vea para optar, no sé, tal vez en su trabajo, ¿verdad? Tienen algunos programas de, de bueno, no sé cómo llamarle, pero que los, ya, que los mandan, ¿verdad? Tal vez a otros a otros lugares para dar algún tipo de capacitación o tal vez incluso dar alguna videoconferencia, ¿verdad? En inglés para algunos coworkers de otros lugares, ¿verdad? That would be good. And if you know English, think about it. You are going to be the one that your boss is going to choose for this conference, for these, uh, let's say, gringos, right? Okay, so, y si no es que ya lo hacen, ¿verdad? Porque algunos de ustedes me han mencionado que ya hacen cosas así. Ok, va. Ok, now, repito la indicación en español para que quede claro. Van a hablar, ¿verdad? Más o menos de lo mismo que están hablando ellos, pero con respecto a su propia experiencia con este programa, ¿verdad? De inglés para el trabajo, ¿verdad? O sea, van a hablar, ¿verdad? De cómo les está yendo, ¿ok? De, de sus objetivos a largo y a corto plazo y de las cosas que hacen para mejorar, ¿verdad? Su inglés. Ok, así que por favor, me trabajan en parejas, in the breakup rooms. Eh, this conversation, people, is on page 37, ok. Pero recuerden, hoy finalizamos la semana 3, ¿verdad? Ya va, llevamos tres semanas, ¿verdad? Viéndonos. Espero, ¿verdad? Que estén trabajando en la plataforma. Recuerden que hoy es el último día, ¿verdad? Para realizar los ejercicios que están en la plataforma. Así que si no los han hecho, ¿verdad? Ojo ahí, para que no lo vaya a perjudicar. Vale, ok. Eh, ¿Alguien no le quedó claro lo que van a hacer ahorita? Ok. Let's get to work. Vale, me parece que un grupo va a quedar de tres, ok. Así que por favor se intercalan, ¿verdad? Ahí para que hablen los tres. Vale, ok. Enter your rooms and practice. Don't forget to practice. All right, Fidel, can you enter your room, please? 
<تصفيق> اللي هو فيدل 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 هلو مستر اوكي اي ثينك هي جوينز هيز ريسبكتيف روم اوكي رايت ناو ذي ار براكتسين ذا كونفرسيشن بس نات ذا كونفرسيشن ذات اي شو ذيم ذي ار براكتسين اباوت ذي ار جوينج تو توك اباوت ذير اون اكسبيرينس ويز ذيس بروجرام اور ويز ذيس تريننج انجلش فور وورك رايت ذي ار جوينج تو بي توكين اباوت ذير اكسبيرينس in the things they do to improve their English, their projects for uh, talking about long term and short term. Okay. So I will give them some time to practice. And after that, they are going to answer some questions about the conversation. And also I am going to ask them what did what they talked about okay in the breakout rooms. I'm going to give them some time in the meantime. I'm going to wait for them, but first I'm going to drink some water, if you excuse me. In my own, you know, I really never to have that person. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Hi, hello, teacher. Hello, I was I was checking your progress. Okay. Do you have any question or do you need help with something? I'm here to help you. Eh, no, ahorita solo estamos practicando el diálogo tal cual es y luego vamos a, a cambiar con nuestra that's información, good. ¿verdad? Yes, that's good. Okay. Okay. Ahora usted es Ever Ophelia. Okay. I bet I love him. No sit. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you? What are you doing this day? I am. Thank you. Well, I am working on another project in London. I am to attain English. A close idea, a dark house about you. That sounds great. What a con coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace this day. I know a college. 
a word complex. A deco is painting a painting in black. I just die. You're right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have beer result. Right. I guess I I do listen to everything. I very very love. I love. Vale, entonces ahora vamos a a cambiar la información de los últimos cuatro párrafos. Uh -huh. Ok, Flor, eh, una, pequeña, una pequeña sugerencia. Vale. Tratemos de hacerlo, ¿verdad? Así sin, sin estar, este... Vale, por ejemplo, yo vengo a él y pregunto. Vale, traten de seguirme el paso, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver uh -huh. si lo logro. Vale. Ok, ok, hello girls. Eh, how are you doing in your, in, your, in your English classes? Mm, yes, teacher. Yes, yes. I am okay. Uh -huh. Tell me about I, your experience. I um, like English. Mm -hmm. I like English for um, for uh, speak speak a new English. language. Ah, okay. Okay, now, uh, how feeling you? Uh, actually, um, I play um, in English it, it, it speaking. Okay, uh, Ophelia, vi que tengo algunos problemas para escucharle bien, porque creo que está utilizando el micrófono, ¿verdad? Yo igual le escucho. Mi internet está, está, está malo. Todo yo cortado, no oigo bien. Mm, pero, pero es que yo creo que es que está utilizando esos speakers. Vaya, fíjese que le recomiendo que vaya, mire, a donde sale el micrófono, aparece una pestañita para arriba. La despliega, mire, y le aparece cuál micrófono quiere utilizar para, para que se escuche su voz. Busque, pruebe ahí diferentes sí. micrófonos y hable para que el, para que utilice el, el micrófono de su computadora o el de su teléfono, que es el que creo que ha estado utilizando estos días. Revise ahí si ¿sí puede hacer. El teléfono, ah, pues, para que utilice el micrófono del teléfono. Ah, porque, por ejemplo, a mí me aparecen dos micrófonos, que sería el micrófono de la sí. cámara y el uh -huh. micrófono de la computadora. En su caso, tal vez le aparecen dos. Pruebe uno y el otro y haga pruebas. Hable cuando active uno y hable cuando active el otro para ver cómo le escuchamos mejor nosotros. Hola. Solo un micrófono me da, Titi. Ah, solo un micrófono le da. Pero vaya, es que en el micrófono, no sé si le aparece un simbolito así, mire, así, mire. Míreme a mí, por favor. Míreme a mí, por favor. Uh -huh. ah, un simbolito así, mire. Le aparece un simbolito así, a la par del micrófono. No, nada. Tío. No le aparece nada. Ah, pues tal vez porque está desde el teléfono. Bueno, pues vamos a tratar de, 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 de ponerle mucha atención para entenderle entonces. Es que, es que sí se le escucha un poquito como distorsionado. Pero no creo que sea el internet. Creo que es el, el micrófono. Porque si fuera el internet también tuviéramos problemas para verla. Le hace bien así toda rara. Ok. Hoy sí, Ticha. Ajá, ahora sí, mire. Ahora sí se le escucha bien. Lo puse porque no, no oía nada. Y he cortado de primero. Ah, ok. No hay problema, no hay problema. Ajá, pero ahí son cuestiones de configuración, debería de, de, de ahí, de trastear eso, ¿verdad? porque a mí eso me pasaba ayer, mire, que yo los escuchaba por mi computadora, pero no los escuchaba por mis audífonos, ¿verdad? Pero ahí me puse a travesear y de ahí es, ¿verdad? Ok, aquí está la imagen. 
Now, okay, let's continue. Now, let's talk about... Sí, porque ahorita lo he cortado. Se quedó inmóvil. Uh -huh. ¿Se me escucha bien, Flor? Me ve bien, yes. me ve bien. Nada de cortado. Yes. Ah, pues sí, creo que tal vez también tiene problemas de internet. Vale, lo que le recomiendo... Ajá, es que de repente queda cortado. Vale, mis recomendaciones para ustedes si tienen esos problemas de internet es, uno, estar cerca del móvil. Ya se está utilizando Wi-Fi. Otro que le pida, ¿verdad?, a sus familiares, ¿verdad?, que cuando estén en la videoconferencia, pues que se limiten a utilizar. Ah, es que ya me, yo, ya me quité del internet de, de Wi-Fi, me puse el internet de teléfono porque el otro no funcionó. Ah, pues tal vez ese es el problema. Sí, porque, sí el, el internet de teléfono sí es un poquito lento. Sí, Nada pero no para... con Wi-Fi, pero me, al día cortado me puse con mi internet. Va, pero es que lo ideal es que utilice el internet de Wi-Fi, ¿verdad?, ¿verdad? Lo ideal es que esté cerca del modem cuando es Wi-Fi. Y si puede conectar, ¿verdad? Su, su computadora con un cable de más o menos como este. Así, vea, uno de estos, mire, lo conecta a su computadora y, y pues ahí va a ir volando, ¿verdad? Solo Ajá. que también afecta el uso de los familiares, ¿verdad? Así que dígales, por favor, que no se pongan a estar viendo YouTube, ¿verdad? Ajá. Se van a estar ahí, vea, scrolleando así en Facebook, mire. Eso consume un montón de wifi. Eso que se ponen a estar haciendo así. Ajá. Ajá. Ahí se pueden estar cargando. Si quieren que utilicen... Internet, sí, porque ahorita con mi internet de mi teléfono me pasa. Sí, pero igual el internet... Bueno, ok. Hay las recomendaciones, ¿verdad? Permítanme un momento, pues, uh -huh. me parece que no, me parece que se desconectó y no está asignado. Bueno, lo voy a mandar al grupo de Mayra. Bueno, voy a trabajar con Mayra porque Mayra ha quedado sola. Ok, okay, okay. just a reminder, ok, remember that you have to talk about your experience with uh -huh. the English class, ok, that is one. Second, you have to talk about your projects with English classes, okay? For example, yeah. okay, I am planning to go to the United States to visit my mom and apply my knowledge of English. Okay? 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 Keep practice and help each other. Thank you for your attention and see you later, okay? Thank you. Hello, Raquel. Hi, teacher. ¿Qué le pasó? ¿Se le volvió a desconectar? Sí, pero antes de que hiciera los grupos. Ah, antes. Pero ahí la asigné con, el, con Mayra. La mandé para el grupo de Mayra. No sé por qué. No pudo unirse. No, me volví a unir, y, pero aquí me quedé. Eh, pruebe unirse al grupo de Mayra, por favor. Es la sala 5. Okay, good. Okay, uh, some students, uh, sometimes they have problems uh, because they get disconnected while we are in the breakout rooms and they don't know how to re-enter the rooms. So sometimes I find them like, like, like her, right? She was in the, in the main room all by herself doing nothing, right? But luckily I... I just uh, told her what to do, and now she's working with some groups. Let's let's hope that she's working with with the girl who was alone. Okay, my I think it was Mayra. Yes. Okay. I will give them more time to keep practicing because some of them need more time than others. Other students are like uh, they understand what they are going to do really easily, and also they have a, a good English level. Uh, some other students are still improving, but sooner or later they are going to be to be more fluent, right? Let's hope that's the idea and that is our objective. After they come back, I am going to give them more instructions about an activity and 
uh, I'm going to check my WhatsApp because one students have some questions in the WhatsApp. Okay, they are telling me, hola, se cayó mi internet. Okay, me quedé sin internet. Okay, there are some students who have problems with their internet. I don't know why. Luckily, it's not my case because if that is my case, I'm going to be in big trouble. Okay, I'm going to tell them to try to re-enter. Try to re-enter when the when your connection is back. Okay, there is also one student that told me he had some problems with his internet life. He hasn't had internet for more than three days now. And he was asking me to contact one of my supervisors and I told them that in the inner WhatsApp group, there are some supervisors. So I told them to ask you if you are watching this. So I hope that you solve his problem or at least uh, clarify his doubts, all right? Because I know it's not your work and not mine to give them permission, but, but I don't know what to do, but to tell you, right, what is happening. Okay, sorry, that was my bottle of water. Okay. Let's give me a notification, okay? Okay, I think that's enough time. I'm going to tell them back to come back to the main room. I will give them one minute. They are going to be back in one minute.
Hola, Mr. Sánchez. Are you happy because you are going to have vacations? I can hear you, your mic is up. Sorry, no vacation, only one day. Really? Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's a shame. Yes. Yeah. But it's over time. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, people, welcome back. I hope that you practice a lot, okay? And that you at least, or at least try to, okay? And also, remember that what you were doing, it was something uh, like an improvised conversation, okay? So let's see how you do, okay? I'm going to ask you some questions and we are going to have a, conversa a conversation right now, okay? So try to follow me, okay? Let's see, I'm going to have the first conversation with Maria Estela. Okay, Maria Estela, are you ready? Teacher. <laughs> yes. Okay, Maria Estela. Maria Estela, talk to me about your experience with your English lessons. Okay. Um, for me, the English lesson um, uh, is is very is very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I love. Sorry, tell me about the things that you are doing in your English lesson. Repeat, repeat. Tell me about the things that you are doing in your English lesson. I think the things, las cosas, verdad, que, que you are doing in your English lessons. Okay. Um, I am, I am listening, mm -hmm. I am listening music um, and, and movie because I think uh, uh, they help to, to learn more. Um, okay. mm -hmm. um, I, I, I repeat the, um, the conversation, the book. Mm -hmm. That's good. And yeah, that's I, have good. A, I have a good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, I wonder who he is, right? Okay, now tell me about uh, your projects with these English lessons? What are some short term projects that you have planned for your English? Um, my project is, um, is, is um, speak more English because um, I have a store in the airport. And, um, I need to speak, I need to speak English. Yes, uh, yes. Because uh, um, the passenger uh, are the different countries. Uh huh. And what's the common language that they speak? For example, I get that you have people from Italy, right? And they, and they don't speak Italian to you. I guess they speak English. I guess that you have people from France, right? Or people from um, from what other country? But oh. English is the the first language. Mm -hmm. Yes, English is like all they speak English. Yes, that's right. Okay, thank you, Maria Stella. I'm going to see if other students can follow me. Uh, what about you, Vanessa? Vanessa Segura. Hi, teacher. Okay, yes. Miss, tell me about what are some of the things that you are doing in your English lessons? Well, um, sometimes I try to put the movies full English, but it's difficult to me. And, and listen to music and English. And a few days ago, I 
both a book in English because no. I need to improve <laughs> this um, idiom. No, no, say say idiom. This um, mm -hmm. language. Language. Yes. Thank uh, you. Okay. Uh, yes. Very good. And what about your your projects? Tell me about your projects with this. Where are you learning this much vocabulary? Uh, because sometimes we have a visit in the plant and mm -hmm. we need to talk with with days and uh, and for that reason i need to to practice more and improve my english okay thank you very much miss segura i hope that you learn more by yourself and also in this lesson here we have some basic vocabulary right but with that book i guess you are going to learn a lot of new vocabulary vocabulary that it is more technical ok ah, fíjense que una recomendación muy muy, muy como les digo muy importante no. bueno una buena recomendación que les doy verdad es que aprendan un poquito de vocabulario técnico relacionado a su área verdad o sea por ejemplo verdad aquí tenemos eh, Trabajadores, but, por ejemplo, me parece que Mr. Sánchez, ¿verdad? He works with computers, right? So, it would be really nice that you learn more uh, technical vocabulary, but related with computers, Mr. Or with programming, right? No. Yeah. Right, Mr. Sánchez? Yes, teacher. Yes, right. Ok, por ejemplo, mi, eh, bueno, la verdad, se me olvidan un poquito los trabajos de los demás, ¿verdad? For example, Mr. Amaya, he he says he works in a in a in a storage. Una bodega, no. Sí, yes, teacher. Aha, uh -huh. he would. It is really useful if you learn vocabulary of the equipment that you use there. For example, cómo se dice vea esta la la cómo se llama la la carretilla esa. Aha, uh esa. -huh. Forklift. Ajá, bueno, dije que hace, hace poco aprendí cómo se dice eso. Ya lo vi en, en un meme, creo, o no me acuerdo si lo vi en un video. ¿verdad? Pero miren, fork leaf. O sea, los gringos son bien ocurrentes porque las palabras que usan, ¿verdad? ¿saben qué es fork? Fork es un tenedor y leaf es, es levantar. O sea que esa cosa se llama eh, tenedor que levanta. Así se llama. Ok, vea. Yo creo que se llama así por la forma que tiene, por las dos cositas esas, así, ¿ok? Ah, pues ya ven, el in... ah, también el inglés es muy fácil por eso, porque los gringos le ponen cosas, le ponen nombre a las cosas, vea, de palabras compuestas, vea, ¿ok? Pero, como les digo, vea, aprender vocabulario de su área no es mala idea, ¿vea? Miren, pues ahí Mr. Amaya sabe cómo decir, eh, ¿cómo me dijo? Carretilla, carretilla se llama en español, o carretilla. Bueno, ¿Cuál, mentira. cuál, cuál pregunta, Techa? ¿Cómo se llama la cuestión esa? En español, en español Ajá. es un montacarga. Ajá, montacarga, se me escapaba la palabra. Ok, thank you, ¿Y Mr. en inglés como dijo, perdón? ¿En inglés como dijo? For list. For list. Ajá, for de tenedor y list de, de, de levantar, de, el verbo, el verbo levantar. ¿Verdad que sí, Mr. Amaya? Yes. Ok, si no se había percatado de eso, mi señora Marta, sabe. Ok, permítanme un momento, que hay alguien en el chat que dice algo. No escucho bien, teacher. Eh, Raquel, ¿ahora me escucha? Can you hear me clearly? Hello. Raquel. Que se escucha entrecortado, creo que es por mi, mi internet. Ok, pero una pregunta, ¿le escucha así a todo mundo o solo a mí? No, a todos. Ah, ok. Bueno, muy mal ya, por usted, pero eh, que yo lo digo ya, porque pensaba que tal vez era yo el del problema. También veo que se les conecta varias veces, ya le he visto varias veces que ha entrado y... Ajá. Este, va, miren, una recomendación para todos, ¿verdad? por si tienen problemas de internet. Si utilizan Wi-Fi, estén lo más cerca del modem posible. Uno. 
Y segundo, vea, si para que no les dé problema, utilicen vea, un cable de esto, vea, un cable LAN, ¿ok? A LAN cable would be really good, ¿ok? If you are using a computer. Ay, me cayó el número. Ok, sorry. About that, ¿verdad? Este, eh, bueno, si utilizan su teléfono, pues no les toca de otra que estar cerca de él. Ay, no. Sí, no, no, no. Ah, okay. no. Se fue el teacher. Sorry people, es que en lo que moví el cable, en lo que moví el cable ese, eh, tiré mi modem, así que, lo siento. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Solo déjenme ver que estoy grabando. Ok, sí, vale. Ok, bueno, lo que les decía, vea, bueno, si utilizan un cable Lambda, también tengan cuidado. No voy a botar su modem. Y pues, ah, otra cosa es que si tienen bastante familiares, ¿verdad?, pues a la hora de la conferencia sería bueno que les dijeran, ¿verdad? Que por favor les apoyen un poco al no estar, ¿verdad? Viendo, eh, por ejemplo, Netflix o, o YouTube o estar en las redes sociales, ¿verdad? Y haciendo scrolling, ¿verdad? Scrolling y así, así. O sea, eso consume mucho ancho de banda, ¿ok? Bye. Esas son recomendaciones por si tienen problemas de internet. Y no es muy recomendable que utilicen datos móviles para estar en las videoconferencias. A menos de que tengan 4G o, bueno, creo que no hay 5G todavía, vea, pero, pero ni aún creo que con 4G, vea, por la lámina, bueno, al menos aquí en mi casa, por la lámina es bastante difícil que yo tenga señal aquí adentro de mi casa, vea, solo afuera me funciona, pero y vea, depende de la compañía. Vale, ok, let's continue. Ok, um, now we are going to answer some questions about the conversation that you just practiced. All right. Uh, I entered some of the of the breakout rooms, and some students were practicing were practicing the conversation between Ever and Bear. That's good, okay? That's good if you, if you did it, okay? But remember that you also had to improvise, okay? Sometimes it is necessary that you improvise, that you speak English like. Uh, not reading what you are going to say, but just speak English, all right? So we are going to answer these questions and you are going to write two questions for your classmates. <clears throat> okay, we have three and four. Discuss these questions about the conversation and write two more questions for your classmates. Let's go with the first one. You can answer these questions in your books, okay? Can you work in your in your manuals? This is on page 37 as well. Okay, can you answer these questions in your manuals? After that, I am going to ask you, okay? I will give you one minute, okay? The first question says, what are some of the things Ever and Beth are doing these days? What things do you have in common with the people in the conversation? But les voy a pedir que me regalen un minutito, por favor, porque voy a hacer una pequeña consulta ¿verdad? Por, por el pequeño fallo ¿verdad? de conexión que tuve, porque no voy a hacer que eso me cause algún problema después. Así que voy a consultar ahorita con un técnico. Así que en, el, en, en lo que hago eso, ¿verdad? por favor, realicen este ejercicio. Answer only the questions, okay? In your notebook. Y también, por favor, Write two more questions, ¿ok? Hagan dos preguntas, redacten dos preguntas para sus compañeros. Las van a preguntar después, valga la redundancia.
Okay, I'm back, guys. I was consulting something. Okay, let's hear some questions. Uh, Mr. Coreas, please ask the first question to one of your classmates. Mr. Coreas Pascual. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, hago la pregunta, ¿verdad? Yes, to someone. Say the name of your classmate and ask the question. Ok. A Raquel. Mm -hmm. What are what are some of the things Iber and Bert are doing these days? Uh -huh, Raquel. Hello, Raquel. Are you there? Okay. Can you ask someone else, Mister? I don't know what happened to Raquel. No, está aquí. No, ask someone else. Pregúntele a alguien más, ¿verdad? porque creo que Raquel tiene problemas. Okay. Con... Yes. Uh, Darwin. Okay, Darwin. What are some of the things Iber and Bert are doing these days? Uh, they are taking class English. Mm -hmm. Very good, Mister. Now, Mister Mister Ayala, please ask the second question to one of your classmates. Okay. What thing do you have in common with the people in the conversation? Uh, Vanessa. Okay. Um, sorry. And I have uh, two things, the two things in common. I'm trying to read some books and, and articles in English, and I'm listening music too. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Okay, now, Vanessa, please ask one question that you prepared for your classmates. Yes. Okay, uh, tell me, how many days do you practice English? Mm -hmm. Only in the English class. Bye. Ah, really? Five no. days. Uh -huh. <laughs> Five days in the week. Oh, okay. And in my work, but it is most reading than I speak because the people who work with me in the United States, they speak Spanish, so it is not too much necessary. Okay, thank you very much, Annabel. Now, can you please ask one of your classmates one of the questions that you wrote, please? Mm. Your colleagues need to talk in English, does your colleague need to talk in English in the work? 
To whom goes that question? To Carla Vázquez. Carla, Carla Vázquez. Okay. okay. Does your colleague need to talk in English? Um, no. In my, no, in my work only practice write and read because the 15% emails are in English, but is is low the practice talking with a coworker because it's very difficult because my coworker my coworker uh, uh, have a different time. My coworker are in Indian. Then when I am sleeping, he is working. Uh, or when he when they is sleeping i am working we have a different that 12 hours okay that's really interesting actually you were yeah. with, with people from that's india good. yeah okay that's really interesting thank you very much emis Ms. Vasquez, can you please ask one of the questions that you that you wrote to one of your classmates? Someone who hasn't participated, please. Okay, um, Fidel. Okay, Fidel. Okay. He already asked a question, but go ahead. Okay. What are, you, what are some of the uh, do you do for practice English? Uh, to practice English, I do music, so, so titulate in, in, in Spanish to understand uh, a little what the lighters are saying. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Pascual. Okay, people, I'm going to take the second attendance, okay? So please pay attention when I call for your names. Give me one second, all right. Okay, let's start with Darwin. Present. Del Miss. Doing. Present. Fátima Rosario Cibrián, Fidel, Flor de Present. María, Irving José, Present. Josué Adán, Juan Ernesto, Karina Beatriz, Carla Verónica Vázquez, Present. Eh, María Estela Varela Velázquez, Present. María Vanessa Present. Ok, eh, Mayra. Present. Nelson Alfredo. Present. Nelson Edgardo. Present. Raquel, eh, sorry, Ofelia. Here, teacher. Raquel. Tatiana en Walter Enilson. Ok, eh, Tatiana, no sé si todavía tiene problemas, pero... Bueno, no, se volvió a desconectar. Okay. Bye. ok, people. Now, I am going to send you a link, ok, in the WhatsApp group, and it is about a video. Ok, in the video, there are some questions that I need you to answer, ok. Bye. Así que... Antes de escuchar en el, el video, les voy a pedir de favor que escriban en alguna página de papel en el cuaderno, ¿verdad? Pongan números del 1 al... Creo que son 7 preguntas las del video, ¿ok? Así que pongan los números from 1 to 7, ¿ok? Y, ¿verdad? A medida van escuchando el... Bueno, es un video, ¿verdad? Viendo el video, 
¿ok? Van a ir respondiendo las preguntas. Si quieren, pónganle pausa. ¿verdad? Después de cada intervalo de preguntas, porque hay tres intervalos de preguntas. En el video, vea, eh, hay ciertas transiciones donde se ponen las preguntas y ahí ustedes tomen el tiempo para responder. ¿Ok? Eh, the video is from a, from a sitcom. Do you know what is a sitcom? No. Sitcom es como una serie de comedia, ¿verdad? Esas que tiene risas grabadas, ¿verdad? Eh, como, por ejemplo, I don't know if you have seen uh, Friends or, or The Big Bang Theory or, or programs like that, ¿ok? How I Met Your Mother, ¿verdad? Esas son sitcoms, ¿ok? Drake and Josh, ¿verdad? Y cada, cosa, todas esas cosas son sitcoms, ¿ok? Son como series de televisión de comedia, ¿ok? Vale. En este caso, vea, this, this um, video is from the sitcom Friends, okay? I don't know if you have seen this series, Friends. No, if you are, if you, if you are not seen, if you haven't seen this series, well, you are going to do it today. It's a, a comedy about Friends, obviously. So I will send you the link to your WhatsApp and please watch the video and answer the questions in the video, okay? Just give me a second. Este, espérenme. Me tengo que buscar. Vale, me dicen cuando les haya caído, ¿ok? Bueno, obviamente, ¿verdad? Este, por favor, se mutean por la cuestión de, de derechos de autor y esas cosas. Y pues, obviamente, por eso lo van a ver en sus dispositivos. Por eso no lo podemos ver aquí. ¿Ok? I will give you some time, ¿verdad? En este periodo de tiempo, si me escuchan hablar, ¿verdad? No voy a estar diciendo nada referente a la clase, voy a estar ahí solo hablando por hablar, porque pues no puedo estar el tiempo que dura el video callado. Right now, students are watching a video from uh, for practicing the structure, okay, and to answer some questions about future plans or projects.
for their convenience, this video has some uh, transcripts. I think they are, they are really concentrated. I can see it in their faces. And some of them are smiling. Okay, people, when you finish, raise your hand. Okay, if you finish, raise your hand, all right? Are you having fun, Annabel? <laughs> I can see you are smiling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you seen friends? I like them. I like them. Now some, some charters. Ah, okay. Not all. Yeah, but I, mean, I like. <laughs> yeah, either. I I haven't seen this series, but they say it's funny. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, remember that you have to answer the questions, right? Do it in your notebooks. Okay, people, did you finish? Hello, hello. Let me send them a message in the group chat. Finish. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, people, did you finish? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. And what about you? Mm, bueno, le voy a enviar. Okay, Flor, more time, please. Okay, Flor, take your time. But try to do it quick, please. Okay, did you finish, Carla? Yes. All right, you know, now we really are. Yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right. And what about you, uh, Maria Estela? Finish? Hi, teacher. Did you finish? Uh, no. <laughs> No, did you answer all the questions? Uh, I I write the question. But did you answer the questions? Remember that you have to answer the questions. Uh, um, yeah, where are they going? They going to to London. Okay, those are easy questions, right? Okay, thank you very much, Estela. Uh, Fidel, what about you? Did you finish? Okay. Hi. Finish, Mr. Mr. Correa. Finish. No finish. Okay. No, Hurry. Hurry. Apuremonos ya. Eh, Ofelia. Finish. No teacher, me faltan dos. Okay, okay. Eh, what about you, Mr. Sanchez and Mr. Eh, Darwin? One Hello? moment, one moment, please. Okay. Okay, people, we are going to, to, to continue, okay? Let me ask you some of the questions that are in the, in the, on the video, all right? But este, les voy a recomendar una cosa, ¿verdad? Les recomiendo mucho ese canal que están viendo de YouTube. ¿Verdad? Porque ese canal de YouTube hace como, como listening practice, ¿verdad? De series de, pues sí, de series de TV, ¿verdad? Se ponen a ver series de TV y de repente les hace preguntas, ¿verdad? Sobre la serie de TV. Para que, pues sí, así no se pasen viendo, ¿verdad? Listenings, ¿verdad? Pues, la verdad, un tanto cuadrados y aburridos, la verdad. ¿Verdad? Sale mejor estar viendo eso. Ok, sí me lo preguntan, ¿verdad? Pero si les gusta ver los otros listening, ¿verdad? No hay problema. Ok. Eh, ok, let's go with the first question. Permítanme un momento que no encuentro dónde las guardé. Ok. Here I have them. Ok, the first question was, where are they going, people? Tell me where are they going. They going to London. Uh huh. They're going to London. That right? Who is going to this trip? And uh, yes? Rose, Chandler, Monica, and Joe. Okay. If you know the names of the characters, right? That is going to be easy, right? But as you can see, that not all of them are going, right? The pregnant lady is not going. And also Rachel. Jennifer, Rachel. Jennifer Anderson, Rachel. Right? Rachel. Rachel. But some of your classmates may know her by their, their real name, right? Her real name. Yeah. Okay, what about question yeah. number three? Why are they going to this trip? They are going to Rose getting married. Okay. What else? ¿Qué tienen los demás? Si tienen for a wedding, también está bueno, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. They are going for, for a wedding. Right. Yo tengo because is the rose wedding. Yes, it's okay. It's, it's the same. Thank you very much. Let's go with the other questions. Who is not going to this tree? Uh, 
Rachel. Rachel is going to now. Rachel. Rachel. Rachel and Phoebe are not going to London. Rachel and Phoebe, they are not going, right? Okay, and what about why are they not going? Rachel is working. Aha, uh -huh. Rachel is working. And what about Phoebe? Phoebe is pregnant. Pregnant. Uh -huh. She's pregnant, right? She's like, uh, did you hear that? Uh, what is, uh, uh, is she pregnant? And she's pregnant with, uh, with a boy, a girl, or twins? <laughs> no twins. le pusieron atención a esa parte. A twins. Twins? Gemelos, vea. A girl. Para los que no saben, ¿verdad? Cómo se dice gemelos, se lo voy a poner aquí twins. en el chat. Twins, vea. Twins es gemelos, ¿ok? Se parece un poco a la palabra twice, vea, pero no. ¿Ok? Ok, very good, very good. Veo que sí le han entendido muy, mucho al video. Ok, Va, pero también no nos demos mentira, ¿verdad? Los textos ahí nos ayudaron mucho, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Es, es, bueno, al nivel, ¿verdad? Entre más vayan avanzando, ¿verdad? Poco a poco van a tener que ir, ¿verdad? Dejando estos subtitles, ¿verdad? Porque eso, ¿verdad? Porque quiera o no, fíjense que ahí no van a estar practicando mucho el listening sino que el reading, porque créanme ustedes, se van a enfocar más en leer que en lo que escuchan, ¿verdad? Por eso es muy importante que cuando ustedes quieran practicar el listening, ¿verdad? Pues lo ideal es, sería no ver subtítulos ni en español ni en inglés, ¿verdad? Pero, pero pues sí, se, se acepta, ¿verdad? Ahorita, ¿verdad? Pero ya después ahí vean ustedes, ¿verdad? Cómo van mejorando, ¿ok? Now, what about question number six? Who is going to London now? Rachel. Aha. Rachel is going to London. And why is she going to London? Because she went back to Rose. Rose is her ex-boyfriend. Yes, she wants to what? Sorry. She loves him. She loves uh, him. She realized <laughs> that. Yes, she yes, loves him, him right? And yeah. he is going to get married. So there is a big <laughs> drama there, right? There is a really, really big drama. Okay, very good. Teacher, teacher, yes. teacher ¿cómo se llama el, la página es de donde está ese video? Ah, es YouTube, ¿verdad? Pero ahí pueden ver el canal. Ajá, ajá. Ahí, el canal, ¿cómo se llama? Perdón. Ahí lo tiene abajo, en la parte de abajo dice el video, el canal. Ahí si quieren solo denle en subscribe, ¿verdad? O solo agreguen el video a favoritos. Ah, y ahí se ponen a revisar el canal y ahí van a ver más, ¿verdad? Ahí hay otros de otros episodios, ¿verdad? Dice ahí practicando el futuro, ¿verdad? Por si quieren practicar el futuro. Eh, y entre otras estructuras, ¿verdad? Ahí las van a ver. Si les gusta practicar de esa forma, si no, pues háganlo a la antigüita y vean, ¿verdad? Este, ¿verdad? Que es que lo que pasa es que Warner, ¿verdad? Lo, lo pasaron a, a español ahora, ya no está igual que antes. Recuerdo que antes era en inglés todo Warner. Ok, bueno, pero cosas, ¿verdad? Ya aparte, ¿verdad? Para que practiquen aparte. Ok, let's continue, people. Ya casi vamos terminando, ¿verdad? Así que no se me vayan a, a sentir muy fatigados, aparte ya casi vamos for vacations, solo que vean, no, obviamente, with the English classes, we are not going to have vacations. Well, in my case, I am not going to have vacations. Just let me show you. Permitan, voy a cerrar la página de YouTube que tengo abierta aquí porque voy a compartir pantalla y no vaya a ser. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. There we go. Now, let me show you the structure that I am going to be explaining today, okay? Today, as you can see, we are going to talk about the, bueno, la verdad creo que ya está en chino del simple, pre, del present continuous, pero, pero bueno, me lo piden que se lo, 
le explique otra vez. ¿Ok? How to use present continuous for temporary situations. ¿Ok? Ahora lo vamos a utilizar para temporary situations. ¿Ok? And in this case, we use the present continuous for temporary situations. The expressions this day, these days, and at this moment, ¿verdad? Esas expresiones son claves cuando hablamos de, de temporary situations, ¿ok? Are often used to emphasize the temporary aspect of the activity, ¿ok? O sea, son situaciones, vea, que tarde o temprano van a terminar, ¿verdad? For example, let's read the examples. Can someone help me with number one? Hello. Yes. Please read. Right. I'm reading a new book this day. Okay. I'm reading a new book this day. Okay. As you can see, this is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book. Okay. I mean, no vea de que that you are a procrastinator and you never finish reading the book, right? Okay. Now, let's listen to example number two. Can someone please read it? Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. Wendy is having a meeting at this moment, which means that she's not having that meeting forever, right? Sooner or later, this meeting is going to finish, right? The meeting will finish sooner or later. And what about number three? Can someone please read the last example? We are taking an English course. Eventually, people, eventually, you are going to finish this course and you are going to be awarded. Do you know what is award? Award? No? Recompensa. recompensa. Yes, recompensado, verdad? Galardonados, verdad? O... Eh, no se me ocurre otro significado premiados, ok, también ¿verdad? you are going to be awarded with a diploma, ok, or a certification that you know English, in this case English for for, for the workplace right, porque si se fijan verá un poco el, el inglés acá que hablamos aquí está un poquito más enfocado para eso pero también a mí me gusta ver enseñarles un poquito más de inglés vea, comunicativo Ok, o sea, ese inglés que, que se utiliza, ¿verdad? Eh, a diario, ok, en situaciones, pues, reales. Yeah. But now, we are going to have a chit chat conversation, ok. Eh, in the chat. Ok, right now, in the chat. No sé si ustedes pueden mandarle mensajes de chat aquí en el chat, valga la redundancia, a, a sus otros compañeros directamente. Por favor, traten de hacerlo. ¿Verdad? Dice ahí enviar a. Dice. A ver si a ustedes les da opción de enviárselo a alguien más. O a alguien un, eh, que no puedan ver los demás. Por favor, revisen ahí. In the chat. ¿Ok? This is in the chat. In the chat of this, of this session. ¿Ok? Okay, confirm please. Sí se puede. Okay, so right now I need you to send um, a chat message, okay, to one of your classmates. Okay. Send one chat message to one of your classmates telling them about some activities that you are doing, but these activities must be temporary, ¿ok? Pueden usar los, los ejemplos, vea, que están in the manual, ¿ok?
if you want to send me a message, do it as well. I'm going to answer soon. Okay, are you sending messages? La verdad me gustaría verlos, pero no me puedo. Try sending emojis if you need, if you want to. Who are you sending messages to, Carla? Eh, Maria Estela. Ah, okay. And you, Miss 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 Lopez. Send me Darwin, and I send to Maria Estela. Ah, okay. And Darwin too. Okay, Sorry. good. And what about you, Ophelia? Who are you sending messages to? Okay, creo que tiene problemas para activar el micrófono. en la cámara pero... ¿qué le pasó a Ophelia? no puede activar el micrófono espérame, le voy a ayudar de aquí puedo, creo que puedo solicitar que, que se active solicitar para reactivar audio bueno, ok who is sending messages to Ophelia? Flor, are you there? Any teacher. Sorry? Yes. Okay, good. Bueno, ahorita me cayó un mensaje, no sé si era para mí o para Darwin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
wrong. Sorry. No, I can't. <laughs> that's nice. All right, people. Um, before we continue, do you have any questions so far? Están confundidos por, con el presente continuo, ¿verdad? Sí, tantos usos que hemos visto, ¿verdad? Y pues tal vez ustedes solo sabían que era para, para hablar de situaciones. Ah, eso significa ando, ¿no? Cuestiones así, ¿verdad? No, do you have any question? Ahorita, right now, the moment. Don't be shy. Okay, if you don't have questions, I have an announcement, okay? And is for today's private session. Eh, el día de hoy le toca... Give me a second. To Irving... Irving, I don't know what is, what was his last name, pero el detalle está que él no está acá. Vea, y pues no se ha estado conectando periódicamente. Así que we have an space. If any of you want to take that space, well, take it. If not, well, I'm going to be here talking by myself. But... Yes, it's Irving. Irving Ramirez, I think. Maybe he's my cousin. Or maybe not. There are a lot of Ramirez out there. Uh, let me see. Do we, Enrique? No. Walter, no, actually it's not. He's Walter Anderson. I think I only saw him once in conversation. Okay, permítanme un segundito. ¿Verdad que de acuerdo con mi calendario parece que terminamos la siguiente semana? Okay, bye. Y les voy a dar una recomendación, ¿verdad? Bastante importante. Y es con respecto a la plataforma, ok, por favor ¿verdad? traten de, de estar al día con respecto a eso, verdad, para que no vayan a tener ningún inconveniente recuerden ver que están haciendo aquí un esfuerzo yo pienso que es bastante grande porque no es fácil ¿verdad? venir a trabajar todo el día ¿verdad? y pues estarse quemando más las pestañas como dicen por ahí ok, y pues sí gastándose su mente, ¿verdad? pues imagínense estar tratando de pensar en otro lenguaje, verdad Ok, cuestiones así. Este, y otra cosa es con respecto a la asistencia. Tengo entendido que la asistencia también afecta su progreso. Así que, de verdad, traten la manera de conectarse siempre. También, ¿verdad? Traten la manera de cumplir con el tiempo que se les pide. Tengo entendido también, ¿verdad? Que se les pide cierto tiempo para aprobar, ¿verdad? O sea, tienen que tener al menos el 80% de tiempo. ¿A qué me refiero con esto? Que si usted entra, ¿verdad? Digamos, 20 minutos o 30 minutos después de las 8, ¿verdad? Eso le va restando tiempo a su progreso total, ¿verdad? Así que, ojo ahí, traten de ser puntuales, ¿verdad? Eh, yo sé que a veces tal vez, ¿verdad? No hemos comido, porque <ríe> créanme que sí me fijo que están comiendo algunos a veces, ¿verdad? Y no, no tengo ningún problema con eso, ¿verdad? Yo, yo entiendo. ¿Verdad? Solo que sí, cuando les pida que me colaboren, ¿verdad? Traten de tragar primero, ¿ok? Para que no hablen con la boca llena. Va, ok. Eh, bueno, esas observa observaciones, perdón, con respecto al curso, ¿verdad? Porque pues sí, el objetivo, ¿verdad? Es que ustedes, pues, that you learn English, ¿ok? And that you get your, your certification, right? That is the objective. ¿Ok? Now, I'm going to take the final attendance. It's almost time, okay? So please pay attention when I call for your names. Okay, Darwin Edgardo. Present. Delmis. Duwin Enriquez. Fatima Rosario. Fidel Coreas. Flor de Maria Carvalho. Irving José Ramírez, Josué Adán Hernández, eh, Juan Ernesto, Karina Beatriz, Carla Verónica, Present. María Estela. La verdad que me siento como profesor de primaria. Present. Pero bueno. María Estela. Present. María Vanessa. 
Mayra Melanie, no sé qué le pasó a Mayra, de pronto desapareció. Nelson Alfredo. Present. Nelson Edgardo. Present. Ofelia Orellana. Tatan, ta, Tatiana Ramírez, eh, perdón, Marisela y Walter Ennison. Ok, very good. Ok, before we go, do you have any question about this week's topic and today's topic in any previous, I don't know, question that you have about any topic or the platform? ¿Alguna pregunta con respecto a la plataforma? No, teacher. Do you have any question about, I don't know, algo otro proceso, verdad? Que tal vez yo les pueda ayudar, porque pues iba, no, no es como que también yo este, pueda manejar todas las cuestiones, pero en algo les puede ayudar. Aunque sea darles el número, verdad, del, del supervisor al que pueden contactar para que, para que se pongan ahí al día. No? Okay, if you don't have questions, thank you for your attention. Happy vacation, okay? Enjoy your vacations and take really good care of your family in your vacations, okay? And have a nice day and a nice vacation and good night. See you until Monday. If you want to take the opportunity for the private session, well, you can do it. I will be there. If not, good chair. Yes. Monday, uh, that's not class. Okay, let me check. According, bueno, es que, bueno, yo la verdad no soy muy familiarizado, ¿verdad? pero yo creo que sí, ¿verdad? Porque esto es como, porque, vaya, por ejemplo, aquí miren, tengo que el 22 de marzo hay una sesión privada y siguen, o sea que sí. Okay. Las clases no, okay. no, se pa, no se pausan por la Semana Santa. Okay. Next, week, next week, next week, that's um, vacation yet. No, no es la, no es la semana que sigue. No, no, it's until 28. Oh, yes. Sí. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we don't have vacation yet. <laughs> we want, but we don't have vacation yet. Bye. Okay, well, Bye. Talk to the guys in the Bahawa Beach. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, well, well uh, good enjoy. Good night. Bye-bye, good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Okay, right now I'm going to start a private session. In this case, I am going to do it alone, okay? Uh, there is an, a student in the, in the session, but I think he, he had a, he's away from the, he's BRB, okay? Um, but I'm going to talk about, well, I, I don't want to talk about that, that present continuous because it's like, like all all this week we have been talking about the present continuous okay so let's talk about some tips for improving your language okay in this case let's focus on on listening comprehension what are some of the things that you can do for improving your listening skill well as you know there are many accents in English, okay? And for example, when a native speaker uh, is speaking English 
it's really hard for us to understand what they are saying, unlike us, foreign, foreign speakers. For example, I think you don't have problems understanding what I say because I speak with an accent. In this case, it's a Salvadorian accent, and it's really easy to understand. But if you listen to a native speaker, let's say um, uh, a person from the United States or a person from Australian, actually, an Australian accent is really difficult for me to understand. They speak like really different from American speakers. Okay, but one thing that you can do to understand this is identify the way they speak. Okay, uh, there are some patterns, okay, algunos uh, patrones, vea, que siguen los acentos, right? For example, for American speakers, there is this pattern with the T and the D. They pronounce it, for example, in the words like city, they don't say city, they say city. And when they have big phrases, they, de they tend to join these phrases and they pronounce that T as, for example, get out of my face, right? You, an, a foreign speaker would say, get out of my face, right? But a native speaker, they tend to speak like this, uh, maybe because they have this fluency, right? And also this accent, get out of my face, right? So, it is really important that you identify these, these patterns, right? And you, when you identify them, you are going to uh, see them that they repeat in, in when they speak, right? And it's going to be easy for you to understand some of the words that they are saying. For example, another thing that you can do is take some of the phrases that they say and try say it yourself and they try to see how they say it. And then you are going to identify and you are going to catch what they are saying because they are not saying them, saying these phrases, sorry, like you do. They do it differently. And that's why we get confused when listening to foreign speakers, uh, sorry, to native speakers. Okay, I was in some water. Uh, what other tip can I give you with your listen? Well, obviously they always say listen to music, right? But well, this is the most typical advice because it works. I know some people, okay, that have learned English only by listening to English music or music in English because Listening, I don't know if you know, but listening is the first thing you do you do to under to learn a language or to acquire a language. Okay, for example, let's talk about Spanish. Okay, Spanish is your mother tongue, right? And how did you learn Spanish? Let's go back when you were a baby. Okay, when you were a baby, you the first thing that you did was uh, listen to your mother or your father, right? Saying some things, some words like mama or papa, or well, in Spanish, pacha and other things in Spanish, right? Okay, and you start and you only listen to those words. Listen, listen. Then you start mumbling. Mumbling is like, oh, gosh. For example, if we have the word mom, you start by saying, mm, right like if you were going to say mama right so it's a little weird to be talking by myself to the camera okay but i'm trying to do it because they told me to do this okay um okay going back to the example with listening right i was telling you that listening to music is important because this is the first thing you do when acquiring or learning a language, okay? In this case, when you learn Spanish, sorry, when you acquire Spanish, uh, 
the first thing that you did was listen to some words. And after that, you start repeating those words. Uh, but it took you like maybe, what, maybe two years, okay? Uh, for example, let's let's say that you start talking at the age of one, uh, one year and a half or one year and a pair of months. You start repeating some words like mama, papa, or something like that, right? But you learn, right? At the end, you learn. Then you, you start saying more complex sentences, right? Then you start expressing yourself uh, by repeating some of the things that your parents said to you when you were a baby. Okay, so that's why you should listen to music. And, but besides listening to music, you should repeat what you are listening to. Okay, uh, I would recommend to listen to uh, singers that have these uh, slow songs, okay, that they speak in a normal pace. They don't speak like, for example, if you listen to rap, well, you are going to get frustrated because you are not going to understand what they are saying because you no know, rap is, uh, they sing fast, really fast, actually. Okay, or in rock, I think some rock songs, they, they tend to speak fast. Okay, this, this would be another advice. What other advice can I give you for listening? You should look for new words, okay? For example, there are many words that we don't know, and when we listen to these words, we don't understand them. And it is good if you make like a list of words that are new for you. But try to learn their pronunciation and their meaning. Also, I have, now that I mentioned that there are some words that you don't catch when listening to someone or an audio or a video, okay? It is not always important to understand or to identify 100% of the words that are in a listening. Okay, for example, let's say that there is one word that you miss. There is one word that you didn't understand. Okay, uh, that doesn't mean that you are not going to understand what that pay, what that person is trying to say. All right, remember that. But it is good that you uh, try to understand the whole thing, right? Okay, uh, just one thing. Uh, Fidel Correa's Pascual is here, but he's BRB, okay? Which means he's, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. He's a AFK, AFK, yes, away from keyboard, right? He's not uh, here in the conference. He's just here because he forgot he was in the conference and he let his computer open or in the video conference. But he's not here. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I, I am almost done with this private session, private because it has nothing private, uh, because I'm, I'm, well, I'm with someone, but I'm, I'm alone. I'm speaking, I'm speaking alone. As I, as I told you, I was talking about some tips for improving, for improving your English skills. In this case, we were focusing on listening, all right? Because I wanted to give you some tips. Okay, give me a second. There is a there is a man in my camera. Shoo. Okay. 
Y no voy a hacer que la bote, la verdad. Permítanme. Go away, please. I don't want to, to hurt you. Where did it go? Okay, I don't know where, where it went. It was an ad in my, in my camera. Okay, so if you have any question about this session, uh, drop it in the comments below. And uh, remember to practice your English. Okay, if you really, really want to learn English, practice. That's the best way for learning English. Try to speak by yourself, speak with yourself in the mirror record yourself with your cell phone send a uh, audio 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 notes to yourself or something like that and watch memes watch series in english watch youtubers english youtubers and by english youtubers i mean uh, youtubers that speak english and um, thank you for your attention have a nice um night and see you until monday bye bye